Hello. Welcome. Chapter. Oh. Who's that? Oh, it's you. Chapter has tables. Uh, yeah. Well, what she said. Chapter 10, hash tables. All right. So hash tables, um, again, are basically key value pairs. Key value pairs meaning a pair where there's a key and a value. And if you think about how to access it, you have to specify the key to get the value. If you want, if you give me the key, I will give you the value. And a hash table is a is going to be a table where we're storing multiple objects, each having their own property. Okay, so each one is a key that has um, a value in it. Little boxes on the table. Okay. Now, so if you look at this, we have a hash table right? We have to specify a hash table with a at sign, an open bracket, and a close bracket. The contents are here. Key 1 equals value 1, key 2 equals value 2. Hash table, and then, so that's done, right? That's where we um, created the hash table. Then we access it by saying hash table dot key, and we get this, the value. All right, so let's look at it. So as you can see, value one, right? To show you an example of um, something else, we will make a, um, maybe a, let's think about it. How about a family equals, and we will say um, dad equals Bob, mom equals Susan, uh, daughter equals Lizzie. All right, so we have family, and from there we will call the family. Okay. To access a particular person within the family, you would say dot period dad mom or daughter. So you would call the table. And then you call the person within that table or that hash table, right? Which is dad. I want dad. And say you want dad. His name is Bob. I want the name of mom. I want, I want the name of daughter. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Lizzie, see? So by you specifying that, you get Lizzie. You can also specify it with um, this. There's a reason we do this, and uh, I think it'll be explained later on. All right? An example of accessing a key with invalid character, exactly like I just said. Um, you want to do a single quote, and then a single quote, and then specify the item inside that you want to specify. Why do you want to do this? Well, look. This one doesn't have a space. This has a space. So when you have a space, look what happens. If we, uh, I think I could probably call family again. If we, uh, my family again. All right. All right, family still works. So. Let's do this. Let's do family, and I um, want to store something like this. Let's add another person to the family. So we will do dot um, step brother. 
Sam. Family. Okay. So now we have stepbrother. Now it has a space in it. If I just do this, step brother, it's an error. So if you want, there will be times when you're going to get a hash table and there will be spaces in it. Just know that you put a single quote, you can get it. A lot of times when you think it's an array, you might do it like this, and then you do step brother, and that um, still works. Huh. <laughs> Oh, I never tried it like this, but that worked. Let me check real quick. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. Huh. Okay. It's interesting. Um, let's just follow the guide though um, and just follow like this. I don't know if that's going to work all the time. Let's see. Um, section 10.1, creating a hash table. Example of creating an empty hash table is, remember, you want to specify the name of the hash table. You, you want to have the dollar sign. Always have that dollar sign to specify the variable. Uh, you want to say equals. And then you want to do the open and close brackets. Brackets are indicating that key value pair. Key value pair, right? Um, and now, in this example, it's the same premise. They specify that. They specify this, and then they specify that. An example to add a key to key with the value of value two to the hash table using the add method. So they're doing the add method to add a key to the hash table. Um, so that's gonna be pretty straightforward, again, Hash table, you specify it, and you only have one key in that hash table. You, there's no other, there's no other uh, um, key value pair in that hash table yet. Then you're going to run this command, which is going to add, right? It's going to add this key value pair and it's going to add it to the second row in that hash table. Okay? And then that's why you're going to get an output of this now. Okay? So, just to show you, I run the key I run the hash table, let me get the output. There's only there's only one output. Then I'm going to add it, right? And then I have two output values. Okay? Pretty simple. Um, another way to add a uh, item to the hash table uh, or a key value pair is just to do a dot the key and test. So remember we had family. Is family still around? All right. So we can go dot um, step sister equals. Cynthia and family. Oops. Right? So now stepsister's there too. Right? So you just specify the dot with the, the key and then test. Oops. Or you could do the dot add. The reason you want you might want to do a dot add is because if you do it this way, um, it's it's really preference. Because you could also specify spaces in here as well, so no, just preference. Let's see. Ten point three. 
add a key value pair to an existing hash table. Let's see. Uh, plus equals. And then, so he takes this, he builds up the hash table. It only has one key value pair. He adds it, not with a uh, add, but he does it with a plus equals, but then he specify a new key value pair with a new at sign, okay? Let's try this out. All right, so it has two, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and delete this. Let's go ahead and delete this and let's run it again. Let's run hash table. And there's only one property. Then we will do it without uh, plus equals. And then we will, um, yeah, it's gonna be hard, I guess. Yeah, you need that. So you can't really do key two equals value two, right? That won't work. See, um, maybe you do a open parentheses. You can't, right? Um, the only way is to add that add sign, and then it'll work. Okay. Remove a key value pair from the existing hash table. So that'll be our move. Pretty simple. Uh, can I find overload removed? Are we gonna count as two? Oh, because I, uh, let's do my family. It, is, it already exists. Um, and then we're gonna do, so let's clear this real quick. We have family, we are gonna do remove, and we're gonna remove, who do we remove? Let's see. Mm, I will remove the daughter. Okay, so I did a remove the daughter, right? And I'm gonna go to cell below by pressing B for below, and then running shift enter and running the cell again and daughter's gone right and if we want to remove another one just to show you let's we'll do it up here dad and then we'll we'll just print up here yep bad has gone enumerating through keys and key value pair so There'll be times where you want to enumerate through these key value pairs. So um, there's it's not a, no preset variable. So we we'll use family again, and we want to enumerate. So we do for each dollar sign key in uh, family dot keys. And remember, you're just saying for each keys. In right family, okay. So that's gonna take each key that it, each key that is in uh, in here, each key, which is this thing, it's gonna do something in the statement for each of the keys, right? And because you're doing keys, you're gonna have access to kind of each of those elements so that you can you know what key is being used, what that name is, all right? I'll tell you, I'll show you. So for each key and key values, we're gonna do key and we're gonna do value. Just look at the output. Mom red, stepsister red, stepbrother red, okay? Um, was everybody a favorite color? Mm, for each key and family.keys. Key real quick. So mom, stepsister, stepbrother. Okay. And then we're going to, if you want to actually get the value, you have to specify family with the key reference. Okay. Family with the key reference. Remember, you want to have that specify the table and then put a period with this as well. Or you could do a uh, 
the um, this thing. So it looks like you could specify that. Okay. All right. So key equals. Or well, actually, let's just do this. Right host family key key and then uh, family dot key and remember if you want to reference um, something like a period dot key you got to do the uh, these open parentheses with the dollar sign all right so key mom key sister stepsister key stepbrother and then there it is, Susan, Cynthia, and Sam. I forgot to put the dollar sign here, okay? Because if I just do keys, it's not, it doesn't know to use this thing. So remember, this is the name right here. This is specifying the value. Okay, and then you just iterate. Enumerating through key value pairs with the enumerator. Okay, so enumerator is just another way. It's just It's pretty flexible, right? PowerShell is pretty flexible. This is just another way to enumerate. Um, there may be a situation you use this, um, but again, this is just another way to enumerate through the key value pairs. And same premise, this is a key value pair. Um, and then you do var1, you do get enumerator. This is kind of a trigger to enumerate through it. And then you are referencing this or that. Okay, let's look at it. For each uh, key, let's, I'll do kvp in family.get enumerator. And then, let's see what this looks like. Uh, KVP. Uh huh. KVP. Yep. Yeah. So, right host KVP. Uh, dot key. Mm -mm. Numerator. Oh, 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 All right, got it. Remember, you can do a, you can do the uh, plus, right, and do a comma in the middle. I guess I don't need that. Yep. All right, ten point six, looping over a hash table. Hmm, hash table. We kind of already did that, huh? Bring value cache. Yeah, we kind of did this already. We'll just do this and we'll replace it with family. Family. Oh, no, no. Key in family dot keys, right? And then value equals hash table dot key. We say family dot key, right? This is connected to this, right? For each of those iterations. And let's see, and then the key, this is equal to the actual name. And the value is kind of right here. Does that make sense? Or 
All right. Um, thank you everyone for watching again. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. All right.